Right, welcome to tutorial number 12, where we're going to be looking at three classic synth riffs on the Studio Logic Sledge. Um, we're going to be looking at um, Axel F by Harold Faltermeyer, Take On Me, and Rockets, which is the Herbie Hancock classic. Um, and we're going to start with an initial setting. So I'll just um, put the initial setting in there. And we can see that each three oscillators, each of the oscillators is on the, the pulse width waveform. We're going to need sawtooth waveform on each of these. What does that sound like? Well, there's one sawtooth, there's a second sawtooth, there's a third sawtooth. And to create a kind of um, a fat sawtooth sound, um, I'm going to detune oscillator 2. Let's do that to minus 9. And you can hear that kind of phasing and, and everything. And um, oscillator 3 to plus 11. There we are, a nice detuned effect. Uh, and then we're going to move over to the filter section. OK, we well, uh, must remember to adjust um, oscillator 3 to an 8-foot pitch, and then we're going to have a little look at the filter. Uh, now, on this one, we need a filter cutoff of 38, which is quite dramatic. Oh, I need to look at the uh, values, that's it. Quite dramatic, but we're going to introduce some uh, filter envelope amount in a second. So the filter envelope amount is here, and we're going to introduce... 46. Let's have a look at that. And now to um, instead of that percussive sound that we're getting there, we're going to adjust the filter envelope. So the attack time is zero, decay 46. There we are. Sustain 82. This will make an enormous difference to the sound. There we are. Can hear that a lot better now. So that's on 82, and the release is 64. Now the reason that we need a bit of release time on the filter um, is that we're also going to put a bit of release time on the ampli ampl amplifier envelope. So then the same, about 64. But we don't have to alter any of the other amplifier settings. Velocity is going to be at zero, and we need not too far off now, but we're, we're going to need um, a bit of um, delay on there. And we're using effect number two, not reverb, but delay. And the delay time is 107. There we are. And the level is 15. That's about it. There we go. So that's our Axel F sound. And I'll just play a little bit. Okay, the next sound we're going to have a look at is the uh, the riff from Take On Me. Um, and we're going to go back to an initial setting. And that gives us um, our pulse waveform for the three oscillators. But here we need, we, we're actually going to use some wavetable synthesis. Now, um, uh, in previous uh, tutorials, we've been looking at how the Studio Logic Sledge can emulate analog synths. But there's a really strong uh, digital um, foundation to this synth from the wavetable, which was originally a PPG um, invention before um, the Yamaha DX7. So let's have a look at the wavetable and see what that um, gives us. It gives us the the um, the 66 sounds from the original PPG wave. Let's have a listen to those. I'm scrolling through these now. And you can hear all sorts of different sounds as I scroll through. The one that we need for um, Take On Me is 005. And we need a variation on that of 48. Because we can vary. You can hear that varying as I move the knob there. We need that 48 out of 100. 
We're actually going to be looking at um, the wavetable aspect of the synth in much more detail in the next tutorial. But for now, uh, we'll go on to the next oscillator, oscillator 2. And we, we want a pulse wave, I uh, want an 8 foot pitch. And the pulse width here is 64. So we're going to add that to the sound. And um, on oscillator 3, oscillator 3 is 16 foot pitch. There we go, can hear that coming in there. And we need a pulse width of 45. That's our composite sound now, which sounds a little bit organy, but as soon as we've um, worked on the filter section and the amplifier section and the effects, it's going to sound much more like Take On Me. Okay, um, the filter section, we need um, a slope of 12 dB per octave. That's an equivalent of a two-pole filter. And uh, we need a cutoff of 56, so it's going to be much more mellow now. 56, there we are. We're going to introduce some resonance. 28. And key track, which opens up the filter towards the top end of the keyboard and closes it down towards the bottom end, we're going to need a value of 102. OK, um, now I'll come on to the drive uh, in, a, in a second or two once we've sorted out the filter envelope. So, um, the other thing that we need on here is we need to balance those three oscillators a little bit better. Um, because we need, well, I'll show you the effect of that. So, oscillator 2, 105, so it's a little bit quieter. Oscillator 3, 98. Now, oscillator 3 is given as the 16 foot pitch. But now we've got the um, oscillators balanced, we can have a look at the, the filter um, ADSR. So, attack 0, decay 68. Um, sustain 0, release 74, so quite a lot of release on that one. And this is going to make a big difference now, the amount is 27. There we are, that's, that's giving us the right kind of sound. Um, now, um, I talked about the drive earlier on. In this section here, um, we've got a little drive circuit. That does two things, it can distort the sound, but it also provides high harmonics. So, can you hear this? the sound is actually getting brighter as I turn the drive up? And we need a drive value of 29. There we go. Uh, and a couple more things, the amplitude envelope that, that needs, uh, needs sorting out, amplifier envelope. So that's zero there, 76 there. Um, sustain naught, so the sound actually sort of disappearing. It still quite, sounds quite organy, but uh, again, I'm going to make a few more tweaks to that. Release time 61. And the chorus, this is going to make a big difference to the sound. I take the chorus out, sounds very plain, but put the chorus in, that sounded much better. And uh, the final thing is to have a little bit of reverb on. So reverb, we want time 60. There we are. And level 67. Actually, the, you can play with the level, you know, to, to be what whatever you want it to be, but that's the setting that I've got for Take On Me. So I'll show you that sound now.
Okay, so the final sound, the final riff in tutorial 12 is Rockets by Herbie Hancock. Now I'm pretty sure that um, on this one Herbie used lots of synths that were midded up together. We, we, we're trying to recreate that obviously on one synth, uh, but we are going to use the wavetable again. So uh, the first thing I do is put an initial setting on and we'll look at the wavetable here. We need wavetable number 24. Now for some reason we're not getting that, so I'll, I'll re reset that. Uh, wavetable, oh yes. There's the wavetable there. We need wavetable number 24. That's it. And the uh, precise um, variable on there is we need this one here to be 43. There we are. So that's oscillator 1. Oscillator 2, uh, we're going to use something called frequency modulation. Now, frequency modulation isn't exclusive to digital synths, but it does, does give you a very um, DX7 sort of digital kind of sound. Um, and I'll, I'll show you that when, I, when we put the second oscillator in. So firstly, we need um, oscillator two on a sine wave. There we are. And um, at the moment, I'll put that FM to zero. We'll switch it in here. Now we can't hear much at the moment until we do um, FM value, the frequency modulation value of 82. And you can hear those higher harmonics coming in. We also need a bit of detune on here. Now can you hear that? You've got kind of a wow effect there as well. So not only are we affecting the um, frequency um, of oscillator 2 by oscillator 1, we're also putting a bit of detune on there as well. Now oscillator 3, we need a four foot waveform and we're just going to use a plain old triangle waveform and we need uh, zero frequency modulation. All of these sounds sound a little bit plain until we start to put in either the, the filter or some effects and we're going to do both on here. Um, before we move from the left hand side of the synth, we need a glide function. Now, if I just explain the glide, I'll switch that on. It's also on some synths called Portamento. Obviously, we don't want the glide to be too uh, great a value, or in other words, too slow. We want it to be fairly quick, and the glide value here is 25. We also need to put in some noise, and this and we've got an option of pink noise and white noise. Let's just take out these sounds from the mixer at the moment, put in the pink noise, and it sounds like that. By contrast, the white noise will be a lot brighter, but we're going to need pink noise at a level of 25. Now that seems fairly low, but blended in with the other oscillators. It's quite a subtle effect. Okay, now we need to look at the filter. Uh, the filter cutoff is going to be 103. There we are. At resonance zero, key track 91. Uh, no drive. Attack time zero, decay time 50. Sustain 100. There we are. And release 68. Also, with the filter release, we need a little bit of amplifier uh, release as well. I'm going to put 33 in there. There we are. And adjust the amplifier attack time to 41. Now, this gives a, a fading in effect if, if the value is too extreme. We only need a tiny bit of fading in at 41. There we are. Uh, decay 52. 
sustain 127. We've already done the release time. We need a bit of velocity in this 68. What that does is it means that I can play quietly and I can play loudly depending on the value of that. If it's all the way over to that side, we get an extreme velocity amount, which we don't need. So I'll put that back to 68. And just to make sure that we've got um, uh, a filter envelope amount going to the filter of 33. And again, a very plain old sound until we start messing with the other effects. We're going to put a delay in here and the delay time is quite short, 36. And the level, 46. There we are. We're also going to use chorus. Now that actually completes the sound picture, but we're not going to use just a regular chorus. We're going to alter the rate. There's the rate there, you can hear that wobbling about. Uh, the rate is 005, so quite slow, and the level of that is 46. That's our completed sound, and it sounds like this. So the next tutorial will be more on uh, wavetable synthesis and the digital aspects of the Studio Logic Sledge.